Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you pulse width modulator configuration, which is available in the LPC 2148 microcontroller. So first we'll understand what is meant by pulse width modulator. Pulse width modulator is a technique by which width of a pulse is varied while keeping the frequency constant. So if we vary, vary the width of the particular pulse, then it will it will change the on and basically it will change the on and off time. Okay. So period of a pulse consists of on time and off time. Okay. So the fraction for which the signal is on over the period is called as duty cycle. Okay. For example, we are having this formula for duty cycle. First try to understand what is meant by duty cycle. Duty cycle is nothing but T on that is on time upon T on plus T off into 100. So whenever we talk about any signal, so this is on time, this is off time. Okay. So if our on time and off time, if we change this on time and off time, <clears throat> then we can get different, different duty cycles. Okay. So <clears throat> if we get different, different duty cycles, then based on this duty cycle, basically we can change the, uh, we can say, uh, output current that we are delivering to the particular port pins of the microcontroller. Okay. So here consider an example, a pulse with a period of 10 millisecond, which remains on for two milliseconds. So we're having one pulse, which is having 10 millisecond period. Now 10 millisecond period means on time and off time. Okay. But this particular pulse remains on for two milliseconds only out of this 10 millisecond. So the duty cycle will be 2 millisecond divided by 10 millisecond into 100, which is nothing but 20%. Okay. So <clears throat> through PWM technique, we can control the power delivered to the load by using on off signal. So part with modulator signal with different duty cycle are shown below. So if we change this on and off cycle, then we can, we can control the power delivered to the load. So what does it mean? If you want to control the speed of the DC motor, then this is possible with the help of PWM signal. So here we are having first signal, which is having 50% due to cycle. What does it mean? 50% on time, 50% off time. Okay. The next we are having a signal with 10% due to cycle. What does it mean? The signal will be in on condition for only 10% of the duty, 10% uh, of the, uh, we can say this particular on and off time. Okay. So it will be 10% in on state and 90% in off state. Next, we are having signal with 30% due to cycle. Okay. So in 30%, we are having uh, low, we can say on time as compared to off time. And next we are having 70% due to cycle. So 70% time your signal will be in on state and only 30% it will be in off state. Okay. So these are the PWM duty cycle waveforms basically. So pulse width modulation or pulse width modulator is a method of reducing the average power delivered by electrical signal by effectively chopping it up into discrete parts. So it is used to basically reduce the average power, okay, delivered to the output port. As I said, uh, you can uh, change the uh, speed of the DC motor with the help of PWM, or you can control the brightness level of the LED with the help of PWM signal. The longer the switch is on compared to the off period, the higher the total power supplied to the load okay so in the previous slide we have studied that uh, if we are having 70 percent duty cycle it means your signal will be on for the 70 percent duty cycle and it will be off for 30 percent so in that case maximum power will be delivered as compared to this 10 percent duty cycle okay now in lpc 2148 we are having pwm peripheral through which we can generate multiple pwm signal on pwm pins also, two one, LPC 2148 support two types of control PWM outputs. Okay, so we are having two types of control PWM output. First one is single edge control PWM output. What does it mean? Only falling edge position can be controlled. Okay, so only this falling edge position can be controlled. And we are having double edge control PWM output. So both rising and falling edge position can be controlled. So we are having these uh, two types of controlled PWM in the LPC 2148. Now, for this PWM signals in LPC 2148, we are having various registers. Through these registers, we can control this PWM or we can generate different different PWM signals. So first one is PWM, PWMIR. So interrupt register basically. So this is PWM interrupt register. IR stands for interrupt register. 
so the ir can be read to identify which of the eight possible interrupt sources are pending writing logic 1 will clear the corresponding interrupt so we are having pwm ir register then pwm tcr that is timer control register which we have already studied in the timer control register then we are having pwm tc that is timer counter so it is incremented on every pr plus 1 cycle okay that is uh, prescaler register plus 1 cycle of p clock that is peripheral clock then we are having PWM PR that is prescaler register. We are having PWM PC that is prescaler counter. We are having PWM MCR match control register. We are having PWM match register. We are having PWM MR1 that is match register 1 to match register 6. As we are having 6 different different we can say channels of PWM in LPC2148. So for that purpose we are having this 6 match register. Then PWM PCR that is PWM control register we are having and PWM LER that is load enable register. So these many registers we are having to configure the PWM signal in the LPC2148. So this is just a basic introductory part to the PWM uh, uh, which is available in the LPC2148 microcontroller. Thank you.